Hello all you beautiful people, how you doing today? This is Love Tim Tristan, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! So today we're going to be talking a little bit more about Extra Utilities 2. And today we're going to be going over, well, a specific type of item. And that is the transfer nodes, the fluid transfer nodes, item transfer nodes, how to set them up, how to do them, and how to make them. So, first of all... We're going to need a bunch of these transfer pipes. So we're going to need six stone slabs, two glass, and a redstone. And each of these recipes will give you 64. Now something I do want to point out, if you have JEI installed in the pack that you're playing, if you ever need to know a recipe, you can look it up in here, or you can hover over an item and press R. R will show you the recipe, and if there's a variation like this accepts any type of glass, it'll also show you that. But I know it's not installed in every pack that you play, and sometimes you add it just to vanilla. So, But I do want you to be aware that that is a quick and easy way to find out recipes also. But next we have the transfer nodes. Now this one is for items, so it's going to use a chest. So... Both recipes, as you can see, are the same, with the difference of a chest for this one and a bucket for the fluid one. Each one does make four transfer nodes, so that's pretty awesome. But it's going to be two stone, whichever you want, the chest or the bucket, two redstone, and one of those transfer pipes that we just made. Now, you can flatten these, and they're pretty cool flat, so if you decide to flatten them, you just need an anvil and whichever one you want. So, one of, e of either the, the item node or the fluid node, but each one, flattening each one will give you 16, which I'll show you the benefits. Other than it giving you a lot, there's another benefit of using the flat ones. All right, now uh, there's also the energy node, and that one takes redstone in the middle, two gold ingots, two redstone dust, and a transfer pipe. Now for some things you might need a filter, so for the filter you're gonna do four redstone, four sticks, and a string in the middle. Now to make a transfer pipe filter you're going to take that filter with one of the transfer pipes and the a piece of redstone now to make the transfer filters the you're going to do two redstone a filter two stone and transfer pipes but honestly i don't use those a lot i'm not even going to show how to use them today because i i really don't but you can all right, now to make the fluid one, you're going to use four lapis, four sticks, piece of string. So instead of the redstone, you're going to use the sticks. Now, this is one of the upgrades, and the upgrades are pretty freaking awesome. And I put away something I needed. The gold... Nope, what are they called? Heavy? Mm. Uh, pressure... There, there. Okay, so to make this right here, this is the upgrade base. You're going to use one of these uh, resonators that we had set up. Uh, I go over it in one the first extra utilities tutorial when I did. So as long as you have the grid power for it, you're going to put one pressure plate in, and that's going to give you one upgrade base so for every one it'll give you one you are going to need multiples of these so if you have the power i usually put it in together and that where did that go there we go so that gives you the upgrade bases now for the first upgrade base you're going to want one of those upgrade bases with a golden pickaxe and this gives you and upgrade a mining so it allows mining of cobblestone and pumps water now you only need one of these for the transfer nodes that you use and i'll show you how to set that up now this next one the upgrade speed this you can use four per up for, per transfer node sorry tongue-tied that you use uh, it does require more power the more you use though so it's going to be one upgrade base one gold ingot and a block of redstone for each one of the speed upgrades 
Then there's also a stack upgrade. Now this is also one per transfer node that you're gonna use. So this one, you're gonna use the upgrade base, a gold ingot and a diamond. So it makes it so it transfers a stack at a time. And I'll show you why that becomes very, very important. So first of all, this is the fluid transfer node because we have fluids going through it. But this is a simple setup that you can do. But to set it up, one thing that you have to know is you need to have a block down first and then you put the transfer node on it. I do not have any other upgrades in this other than the allows mining. So allows cobblestone and pumping of water. Now, if I look at the bucket right now and then hit it again, you notice it, the amount isn't changing. But if I break that block again, it puts it back together. It's now a solid, you know, infinite block. So now, you will start to notice that the amount is changing. If you watch, it's going up 200 every single time. Now, if we want to speed that up, of course we can put the upgrades in and then it will speed it up even faster. See, knock it off. Now, this one's pretty easy to set up. You just do your four blocks and put water on both sides and like i said put the block down and put that down so this one's really really easy to set up now this one is the item transfer node now for this one this is going to be a cobble generator now i have it set up this way on purpose if some of you are like oh my gosh you're doing it wrong i know i know i have it set up this way because this is typically the way you set it up in like sky packs and stuff right you have your water flowing down but it has to flow down one so the lava doesn't turn it into obsidian however with this mining upgrade in order for it to work i will show you this is not working I have the upgrades in, I have the speed upgrades, and I even have the stack upgrades in there. But it is not doing anything right now, as you can see. And there is a reason for that. Even though this is the way you normally do it, this is not how you're going to do it for this. You're simply going to have lava on one side. And I usually put a cobbles, piece of cobblestone down so it automatically does it. And water on the other. Now if we look it's automatically pulling it in. So it does not work the typical way that you do it, but you simply have a stable source of water on one side and lava on the other with the cobblestone in the middle. And then when you put that mining upgrade in, it automatically mines that cobblestone and pulls it out. And then the speed allows it to go faster and the stack allows it to take whatever is in there up to a stack at the same time. So you will get lots of cobblestone in no time doing it this way. And of course you can put it into barrels and other things too, but right now we just have it going into that. Now, another thing I wanted to show you another use is you can have stuff automatically going to trash cans. And of course this is very important because, you know, mob farms or, you know, and you can filter. So one of those filters, let me go grab one real quick. Okay, let's grab, well, we're going to grab a whole bunch of filters. But to use the filters, you're going to have it in your inventory, and you're going to right-click up in the air. So anything you put in here, it's going to tell it you either whitelist it, which means you allow it, or blacklist it, which means you don't want those items going through. So if I have it on blacklist, and I put gunpowder in here, that means gunpowder will not go through wherever this pipe is going. Okay? If you want it to go through, make sure it's on whitelist. So I want it to go through because I want, you know, the mob stuff that comes through the mob farms that you're like, oh my gosh, I just don't need any more of it. And you can change these as you go. So you can take a filter out and redo it, anything like that. Okay. So we're going to put this in. So the filter, if you should cl click, it's automatically going to go in here. So then what's going to happen is... So if I put my mob drops in here, it's only going to take the ones that the filter allows. So once it's, to, and it only does one at a time because I didn't speed it up or anything. But you'll notice it leaves the other things that I didn't say it was allowed to take. 
So it comes in really handy when you have like a mob farm running and it'll automatically put things in here. The same goes, you can also put a filter directly on your trash cans, but I find it to be pretty helpful to do it this way. Now, one other thing is the flat nodes. Okay, so for the flat nodes, they work a little bit differently. So I have a flat node here. And if I click on that, oh, no, got the slimy generator. Uh, let's see if I can get, oh, still got the slimy generator. Ah, hold on, let me, let me go grab a flat node. So the flat nodes work the same way the other ones do. Except, uh, that's items, yeah, that's what I want, items. Okay, so, except for, as you can see, that is a full transfer node, and if I have one in my hand, you can easily see it. But without one in my hand, you can't. But that's because that's how you take it on and put it off, uh, take it, take it off, yes. Okay, so for instance, I don't have any... Uh, anything set up here. Let me move a few things. I don't have any uh, filters or anything on this one. So if I... Uh, okay, if I right click on it, we can see I do not have any filter on this. Okay. But the way I have it set up for the slimy generator to work, it requires a bucket of milk and slime balls. Okay. So I have buckets of milk in here these empty buckets are because it's the buckets it's used and put back in here i didn't even have to tell it to do that now it doesn't have slime balls so it's not going to run right now but if i grabbed some more slime balls and put them in there it's going to automatically transfer them to here and it's going to automatically generate all this power okay and you can do that for multiple devices. So you're going to just click on it, just like that. Now to get it off, you're gonna left click on it with another transfer node, or you can break the whole thing down. But the easy way is after you've shift clicked it on, or shift click, that depends on which direction it's going. Um, after you do that, you can just left click and take it off. So even though it's there and it's hard to get to, now it's gone. So if you shift right click, whoops. Uh, let's see, are they going in? See, now they're not going in because I shift right clicked. But if we take it back off, oh man. Well, let's try this again. So if I shift right click, there we go. And now it's not pulling anything in. It's going to start generating some power. There we go. But you see what I mean. So that is where the flat ones come in handy. You can even do it where you put one here, you put a chest on top, and simply put it on top like that. So it'll automatically go in. But with generators, of course, it has to, well, depending on the pack, it has to be behind. But you can also use it for tons of other stuff. You can use it for, have stuff automatically going in furnaces, in and out, all kinds of applications that you can do this. But that is some of the ones that I thought you should definitely know about because they come in very handy. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I appreciate you guys as always. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Look at this. I bet this is full. Yep, already full. Easy way to get cobblestone without going mining. And a lot of people think that, you know, it's not proper to do this in a overworld like what we're in. But it's fine. Who wants to go mining for a whole bunch for a lot of cobble, right? All right. 
questions or comments, leave them down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button with the notification bell so you can see when my videos come out. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Until next time, this love attemptress, don't get burned. Bye!